Hi, I'm Jerry O'Brien here for BRSQ.org here at the historic Canton House Theater to learn about its past, present, and future. Palace Theater is uh, what we call a historic atmospheric theater. It was um, opened in November 26. Uh, Harry Arborink was the one to put up the money for it, unfortunately. I believe it was February 26th. Um, February of 1926 is when he, uh, he he got sick and passed away. The theater opened in November of 26, so he actually didn't get to see uh, what would be his gift to Canton or his masterpiece, therefore. So, there were many other theaters in this district, in this area, um, you know, years ago, and they've all been shut down. And I'm not sure if you knew, but temporarily, uh, November 76, actually, theater's 50th anniversary closed down. And uh, it was very close in the early 80s to being demolished completely. So the fact that it's still standing part of our history and uh, younger generations can come in here now and find out about the Palace Theater, it's, um, you know, it's not like other chain movie theaters or anything that are just kind of dropped off in certain places and they all look the same. Obviously this place has character, uh, you know, it's got atmosphere, and uh, it's just generally a cool place to either see a live show or a movie. Uh, we have Hollywood hit movies, we have art films. We have an art film every Thursday night, just about every Thursday night in our normal schedule. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights we do our Hollywood hit movie, which is um, usually a more popular movie. This weekend we have The Hangover 2. Next weekend we're going to be doing uh, Woody Allen's Midnight in Paris. Uh, you know, we'll do just about uh, any popular movie we can get our hands on. And at five dollars we think that's a pretty reasonable price. So. Well, I mean, uh, like I said, we're just very happy that uh, the place is still standing. We're doing, working very hard every day to uh, keep it going, and uh, we're very thankful for our volunteer staff and all the dedicated people uh, who have come through and helped us out and, uh, in this tough time, continue to uh, come out, and watch movies, and find a form of escapism, hopefully, in, uh, in this place. And so we're very thankful that people uh, continue to express their gratitude toward this place. So.